Let's talk about pig social socialization. This is what happens when a pig starts to be a pig most of the time. Or if I already have the pig and I've already socialized it, one hundred percent. Now you do. his little pin where he was at. I recently just pulled him from his mother. So right now he's already traumatized because you have to realize these pigs, their emotions are like us. It's not like a dog. You cannot say my dog and my pig, they're alike. There's no way. No, that's fucking bullshit. My dog, I can hold and he will not squeal. But this little guy will squeal till he's just exhausted. But this is what you do whenever you socialize a pig. You carry it everywhere. You let it scream its head off. It doesn't matter. You know, um, you see where we're at though? This is Stacy's Pigs and Critters. This is El Rancho Escondito. This is, this is off the grid. You can screw all day long. Plus a lot of pigs don't like to be picked up. So, I'll let you know how this one goes. If I can get him 100% socialized and if he will be able to be the type of pig you can carry around. Because about 50% of the pigs you cannot carry around. They, they don't like to be picked up. It's because they don't like their feet off the ground. Their hooves off the ground. They don't like it. But you just hold them, you show them comfort. That's what you do with. See what I have to go through? So whenever you get those calm little piggies, this is what I'm doing. I know, I know. And he wants his mommy still, because you know what? They have good memories. They remember their mommy. They want their mommy. But now we're their mommy. So we just snuggle them. We let the kids hold them. You know? But age, age appropriate. Don't, don't give a toddler something that has barely been held. He's barely been held. So he should be ready within the next... It shouldn't take longer than two weeks for me to have him, like, completely calm. So in about two weeks, he will be available. So, we'll see. Yeah, that's normal too for them to foam at the mouth. It's normal, it's normal. Look it up. They sweat from their nose. They can't sweat from nowhere else. I know. I know. I know. It's okay though. You just have to show him love. You know, you show him love. You show him, I love you. We're gonna be buddies. And the next, I'll be doing the leash thing. And that's a lot of pulling. That's a lot of work. But eventually, by the time he's like a couple months old, he'll I mean, well, a couple more, probably about, I would think about four or five months old, he'll be fine. He'll be, he'll be walking just like a dog, you know? At the park, you don't have to worry about him squealing like that. You just got it all, you, you just have to start from a young age. You cannot get an older pig, and you cannot, you can't do it from an older pig. You cannot just buy any pig from any breeder that's going to tell you, I'm going to give you a pig that's not going to squeal. That's bullshit. If that pig doesn't squeal, it's because somebody is handling him, trying. So if your pig is squealing, that means you need to just hold it. Some pigs just don't want to be held. Some you just, they, they, they just can't, they, they, you just, it doesn't matter. You can't socialize them like holding them like this. But see, he's already calmed down. He's fine. We're walking. He doesn't want. He doesn't want to be off the ground. That's the biggest issue right now. 
So I'm trying to fix this issue with him. So whenever he comes home to you or whoever wants him, you know, if you do see this video and you do want him, let me know. We can have a calmer piggy. But I always socialize mine whenever they're younger. I always try. Him I didn't get to until he was eight weeks old. So he's already eight weeks old. We're trying. So I had taken him from his mom, put him in a separate pin uh, where I have piglets, which I have multiple pins with different sizes and ages of piglets. And uh, he escaped that pin, so I spent like a whole hour chasing him. It's already happened. It's already has. It's already been a hassle, but it's okay though. So, anyways, this is what. If you see me in public and you hear this, I promise you, I'm not. He's not being tortured. Cause this is what happens in uh, in in public sometimes. Is he okay? Is he okay? He's a pig. He's not a dog. Stop comparing pigs to dogs. Oh well, my dog doesn't do this. My dog. Do yeah, you're right. You want a dog? That doesn't look like a dog. You want. You want to see a dog? That's a dog. I had his parents. I had him since a tiny puppy. I had him about for about 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 five and a half years. I have had that old thing. Poppy. Ah, I'm face cam. I've had Poppy since 2015. And we are off grid. I'm gonna show you guys a little bit more. My off grid. I love it. This is my cabin. This is my trailers. I got a bunch of junk. I need to go haul it. See? I need to go take it to down. Really, really bad. Because winter is coming up too. Let's talk about winter hay with pigs. Pigs need winter hay. You can make a whole shelter out of bells of hay. That will last a whole winter. And be warm. You know? And you could just cover them with tarps you know you can layer them I'll, t I'll teach you i'll teach you about that too in another video i'm gonna start doing more videos but this is also where my ranch hen stays i'm gonna put three more of these little cabins out here so i'm gonna have more people stay out here and all they do is pretty much just guard the property whenever i'm gone because i'm not here all the time i'm back and forth from florida to El Paso, to surrounding cities. We, we, I, I like to travel. Um, and then, I'm, but this is Hudson County. But this is an hour and 15 minutes from the Fabens, uh, Fabens exit. Where, you know, where the Cattlemen's Steakhouse is on Fabens in El Paso, Texas, which is Fabens, Texas. So we're pretty far. So if I have to drive to El Paso, it's two hours there and then two hours back. But this is where these little guys will reside. I do not allow people to come to the property. It is my home. I do um, I do that because of, you know, people from the past, you know, taking piglets and stuff like that. So, But he looks bigger in the picture, in the video. I don't know, maybe I have it like zoomed in more too. I don't know much about film and stuff, but I'm learning. We're learning. He's already calmed down. Now the more I walk, you see he's gonna get like more. Well, he was. He was getting more freaked out. And then he probably sees his mom over there, because that's where her pat. That's where she's at. Because she's also non-socialized. So I usually take these guys at, at a pretty young age, you know. Um, not too young though, because they have to have the milk. If they don't have the milk, they don't survive. Period. There's, there's no bottled babies unless unless there's just no milk. If I can't get if I can't get a pig to feed it, I just have no choice. But if they're like a couple weeks old and you're bottle feeding, then they'll be fine. You know what I mean? But um, yeah, if they can stay with the mom as long as possible, that's the best thing for them. If not, that's whenever they go inside with me because that's like around around the clock every like two hours and I don't have a newborn I don't want to do two two hours so, you come down now yeah no all right we'll try more to socialize him more by holding him carrying him around 